Hello once again my scrappy friends and welcome to my channel. This is my third share for Anna's Craft Cupboard with the amazingly fun Colour Kaleidoscope collection by Vicky Booten and indeed my third rainbow page. Now um, if you haven't read the blog post it was purely accidental that I made three rainbow pages. I didn't realise I'd done it until I photographed them. So there you go. Um, what I showed you at the beginning was the back of the 12 by 12 paper pad and there was a page that had been created using a, it wasn't this black pattern paper, it was the one that I used yesterday as the very background and then a layer of white and then this rainbow stripe with lots of layers on top. And I was really inspired by that, I really liked the way the rainbow popped, I liked the contrast of the black. Um, I knew that I wanted to use the heart, this photo from the Colourful Thickers as my title. And so I thought this was a good way to bring a little bit more black into the page. So what, I'm, what I've done there is first I have gutted the middle out of that black say cheese pattern. Um, I always leave a one inch border all the way around and that seems to work. Now. You would have seen that I've taken some off the colour. I think I ended up taking off about three quarters of an inch off and then I made this like a quarter of an inch, the white, about a quarter of an inch wider. I'm not 100% sure of the dimensions. If anyone is curious, I can measure it and let you know. Um, but I'm, I'm just starting with my background and getting all of that put together. This is my background today. There is no mixed media on the background today. Um, I do come in with gold splatters at the end. Um, but other than that, it is an almost mixed media free layout for me. So I started by sticking the rainbow to the white and now I'm going to stick the white to the black. And that is my background done, ready to rock and roll. I have this photo of my boys. We went camping a few months ago and I managed to snap this photo of them. They were being nice to each other. They look cute. Um, and I, I just, I love the goofy look on their faces. They're such dorks. Um, and one of them is holding a pine cone, I think, by the look of that. Um, but yeah, so, and it was just a beautiful shot. I love, um, I love that pop of the beautiful blue water in the background with the green of the trees, the red of the dirt. Um, and so, yeah, I, I was really happy with this photo and I knew straight away I wanted to use this heart this photo. Um, strangely enough for me I think this is going to be another, not another, this is going to be a page where I don't do any journaling. Yes. Um, I may put on specific details, date and where we were and leave it at that. Um, you know like we went for a big walk while we were camping at this place on this date and leave it at that because I don't like the title sums it up I just love this photo um, I love that they like each other most of the time so that kind of sums it up for me so what I am doing I've placed my title I ended up moving my photo over to the right hand side of the page and I am going through so to start with I went through the Vicky Booten Colour Kaleidoscope Labels Ephemera. This that I'm going through now is the Field Notes Ephemera. So it's got the flowers, it's got that adorable bird. Um, I can't remember if I've mentioned it in one of the other videos, but the colours work beautifully together. I was so excited and so impressed. Um, and I'm even more so that I've got this adorable bird on a page. He's so cute. Um, so you can see I'm just layering up some different pieces here. Now this video um, kind of, it doesn't jump, but I, I've i edited it so much that it's in and out. And the reason for that is all of these pieces have quite a thick white border around it. And I found that it was really distracting and I wasn't getting the flow that I wanted. So I do trim off the white border of each piece that I use. And rather than doing it all in one go, I trim it as I put it on the page. So if, if it's a bit jumpy, that's... The only reason why I've, you don't need to see me fussy cutting white borders off things. Um, so yeah, all of the pieces so far, the paper ephemera, are from the Vicky Booten 
Field Notes ephemera pack. Uh, the title is from the Colourful Thickers from the Colour Kaleidoscope collection. I decided that I was going to cut this big floral in half and use half at the top, half at the bottom. I love those hearts in this collection as well, they're so cute. Uh, these black and white fla uh, flowers are also from the same collection. So is the leaves. I love these leaves. I don't know what it is, but I just love them. Decide to bring in some black and white. I don't know. I just feel like it lifts everything a little bit. Um, it's only a very small detail, but you'll see in a second that I swap the two halves of that flower. And the reason I swapped it is because the half in the top has more of that black centre, and I wanted that up the top. It just felt like it belonged there better than at the bottom. So you can see I've tucked the other half of that down the bottom and removed that small black and white photo. I've got this floral piece from the Vicky Bruton Colour Kaleidoscope collection that I'm just going to layer on the left hand side underneath my photo. This is from also the same pack that is the Colour Kaleidoscope Labels Ephemera. And I've just chopped the part of it that I want off because I really like that card. Flipping through quickly and seeing if there's anything else that I want to use. I'm pretty sure there's not. What am I doing next? So I've added some foam tape behind my bird. And I don't make you watch all this because most of it is off camera. So I am still learning where my camera is. I know that sounds really stupid. Um, but I'm still not 100% sure of where the camera is looking, if I've got it in the right place or not. So bear with me. Um, the last part of this video, you see that the bottom, about maybe a quarter of the page is cut off. Um, I am trying, <laughs> I'm trying to work it out. But you can you can see most of what I'm doing anyway. So I'm using a combination of foam adhesive and flat adhesive to add some interest and shadowing to all my layers here. I like that pop of yellow up the top. Really happy with how that's looking. I muck around with this and I don't really know why because it ends up in exactly the same spot I just had it. So I think I'm just adding foam underneath a couple of layers there decide to pull in some different textures. Now I try desperately to get this banner on this page. It just, spoiler alert, it doesn't make it. It just doesn't fit. I don't like it. Uh, I do, I think next, oh no, I'll pull off a few of the chipboard pieces from the Hello Friend chipboard thickers. And I like how that brings a little bit more black over there. I love this little camera. It is adorable. I try a little pink sentiment and then I go with green and that says happy place. Now I've got the puffies. I end up using um, all brown ones, like that craft colour, which is unusual for me, but I just felt like that worked. So the one... The topmost one says remember this, the one below that says no to the one below that is a rainbow heart on like a craft background. And then down the bottom cluster I've got um, a small one with a black love heart in the craft and a bigger one with this happened on the craft. I am using some of the Annabelle acrylic stars just to bring that black a little bit more around the page. Felt like that just finished it off nicely um, so your eye goes all the way around the page following that black as well as that black border I add these two chipboard sentiments underneath my photo underneath my title that's not my photo um, we had such a good time and we were made for this I'm trying with that banner again I do leave it here for a while but it's gone again cover that up here are my gold splatters, making sure I've got that photo covered properly. I'm just going to splatter that on the diagonal from the top left to the bottom right and a little bit around my title area. I 
I really like the way the gold finishes has paid off. Uh, next up, I think I left in this bit for you. So those thickers, I think they're like epoxy. I'm not really sure, but they wipe clean. If you get stuff on them that you don't want on them, they just wipe clean. A close up of my finished project and into the photos. So I'll leave links to everything in the description box below the Anna's blog, the Anna's website. Um, yeah, make sure you head over and check them out. Uh, a big welcome to any new subbies I have. A big thank you to everyone for your kind words and your constant support. I really do appreciate it. Um, I will be back again very soon with another share. So please make sure you stop by, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you again soon. Bye.